Uh, the worst thing you could possibly do at the moment, given that we have a cost of living crisis and a housing crisis in this country, is to lift the rate of immigration to 500,000 people a year. And I should add that in the last quarter it was actually 180,000 people who came to Australia in the last quarter. So that, if that's extrapolated over the next 12 months, we'll be looking at closer to 700,000 people who are coming into this country. Now, tomorrow it looks like the Reserve Bank of Australia is going to raise interest rates yet again, uh, driving more and more people into austerity in order to reduce demand. Because the RBA, and uh, the former RBA governor has said this to me, Philip Lowe, that he only deals with the demand side of the economy. He will not touch the supply side of the economy. And that is why the other uh, point of this MPI today is cutting infrastructure, which is what the Labor government is proposing to do, is the worst thing or is pouring fuel onto the fire of the immigration crisis that we have uh, in this country. And it goes to show that the Labor government has no ideas on how to run a country. Now, rather than raising interest rates tomorrow, what should really happen is that the Labor government reduces immigration. That way, hard-working Australians aren't going to get hurt. Because what's happening at the moment is that as immigration rises, it drives up demand, and then the RBA comes along and lifts interest rates to push down demand. And that is killing the very people that we are meant to be serving. And it's that type of mentality that has to stop. Now, the other thing is, when you have a really high immigration rate, you have to build a lot of houses. Now, we have a limited number of tradies in this country, not the least because back in the 80s, under the Hawke-Keating government, under the Button Plan, the uh, Labor government came up with a wonderful idea to send everyone to university and not to TAFE. So we already have a limited number of tradies in this country. But if they are going to build, we want them not building only houses, but we want them building houses and factories. Now, if we have too high immigration rate, that allocates all the labour, the tradie labour, the skilled labour, where you use your hands from the actual building uh, factories that could increase our manufacturing output and start to value add to our raw materials that we're so good at uh, producing, and they have to go into the building sector. So that means we've got most of our you know, you know, skilled sector in this country working on building houses and, and doing the plumbing and things like that for houses instead of actually looking at improving and getting higher value manufacturing in this country. So I'll conclude yet again that the Labor government needs to get a grip. It needs to lower immigration, increase infrastructure spending and start to get people back on the tools and out of universities and out of superannuation funds. Authorised G. Rennick, LNP Chermside.